The scale of it's huge. The properties is spread between the northern half of New South Wales all the way down to the south of New South Wales, down to places like Eden and Snowy Monaro. From the first meeting with the client, it was vitally important that there's two main outcomes. One is to help people and, and clean up their homes, and the other bit is to get money to local communities. I know all the contractors that we've got in the northern zone, they're all local contractors from the community, so that's putting that money straight back. The procurement process to get people on board was, was quicker than I've ever, I've ever seen. And in terms of payment, again, it's nothing like I've seen before. We're turning payments around in seven days. That's just another part about getting money quickly for people that need it. I'm just a local company employing mainly local employees. And the seven day payment from Lango Rock's been very helpful for our company. We still have to pay all our lease payments, operators, uh, truck drivers, so having the seven day payment is great. We don't have to carry all those costs for near as long and it makes life a lot easier. We wouldn't be here if they weren't employing locally. I think that's the biggest point is the locals went through it. They can relate to all these people. Um, we can talk to them. A lot of people we, who are working for us lost their homes as well. We were a small company. We had four guys that used to work for us. Um, since the clean up started, we've um, gone to 14. We know a lot of the people that we're dealing with, a lot of the homeowners. There's been special requests. They're looking for certain items that they've lost and we've managed to find, you know, jewellery and a few other mementos that we've been able to drag out of the ashes. This experience has been the first time on a major project that I've worked on where community outcomes have come to light with great outcomes for people getting employed and trained and jobs. We work with uh, state training services to, to work on a model of how we could support the project and, and deliver outcomes in the communities. We've connected local subcontractors to local training organisations to upskill different kind of certs. We've got, uh, I'd say, about eight, eight new people on now, uh, local, Indigenous, non-Indigenous, in staff and staff on the ground too, so they're actually in training, getting the opportunity to actually learn for future works and learning long term. We, we not only want to be known as an Indigenous business, but a business that, that's well capable of doing what we do. And this is what we love. And uh, Lango Rooks allowed, allowed us to shine on that. The unique challenges with this project um, and trying to develop a procurement strategy was the unknown element of what the actual scope would be that we would be facing on the ground. So we tried to automate as much of the information going forward. So this automated tender was created in mind that it would take no longer than 30 minutes to be able to fill this in. So it, the beauty of it was that we were now engaging the supply chain that we would never normally have approached and they would never have normally have had the confidence to be able to tender with us. I think one of the benefits in working with Langer Rock is that from a local contractor perspective, they're doing some great stuff. So the numbers they got in terms of accessing those contractors is, is fantastic. I think it's, it's being used as an example across government as an ideal strategy. It works really well for this project and we're keen as a government to see how it can work across other projects as well. One of the areas that we really wanted to drive was the engagement of the smaller local contractors. I think the way that the team has gone about mapping the whole of the supply chain, understanding its capabilities and then building it in to the specific projects and the areas that they can work, it's phenomenal. But I think it is a credit to the industry at large that probably we don't recognise, the ability to mobilise such big teams across such a wide landscape to make things happen, especially in a crisis environment.